<laughs> now, a couple of months back, I made a video about a development board based on ultra wideband technology from Maker Fabs. So that board was based on DW1000 chip and the company claimed that using that chip, we can get a distance of around 20 meters. But when you practically tested it, we got a range of only 10 meters. And now they came up with the amplified version of the same UWB chip. And in this chip, they are claiming to get a range of around 200 meters. So well, let us practically test it out and let's see if we're getting that much range or not. And while testing, I'll let you know the configuration of the board and will also teach you how to use this board with the help of Arduino ID so that you can make your ultra wideband based projects quite easily. So basically, this video is all about getting started with the UWB Pro boards from Maker Fabs. And before starting this video, if you are watching me for the very first time, well, consider subscribing this channel as I used to come up with these kind of getting started videos on new development boards in the field of IoT and electronics. Well, that being said, let's get started with the UWB Pro board. Do you know what most electronic companies have something in common? Well, it's the tool that they use for making their products and the most commonly used tool that almost all the big electronic companies uses is the LTM PCB designer software. Using LTM, you can definitely level up your PCB designing skills and make something really professional out of it. And now along with the integration of Octopart, searching for any electronic components globally becomes really very easy. Octopart is kind of Google for just electronic components where you can search for any electronic parts and get that information all on one single web page. So do check out this amazing search engine made just for electronic components. I'll leave the link for this down in the description. Do check it out. So this is the actual board. And if I talk about the configuration of this board, that this board is based on the ESP32 Rover module. So we can expect the dual core processor in it with built in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. Also, this board has onboard 128 by 64 pixels OLED display, which is a great attachment as UWB boards are generally used for positioning projects where we need to calculate the distance and having a display on board can make that board a standalone board so that we don't need to attach any external peripheral device. Now on the back, we have this UWB X1 Max module, which is based on the same DW1000 chipset, but this module has better range than the previous one. Also, this board has ceramic antenna on board while the previous version was having the PCB antenna. Also, this board comes with a built-in battery connector and a battery charging circuit based on 4056 chipset. And also, we have the USB Type-C port on the board using which we can charge the battery as well as program the ESP32 board. Now, you can get this board from MakerFab's website at around $55 for the same board. And also, you can get the Pro board without display and without battery charging circuit on it at a price of around $52. Well, I was thinking of to import couple of UWB boards from MakerFab's website and sell them locally in India through TechSMS website. So will you be interested in getting these boards or any of these boards from our website without worrying about the import duty and the shipping charges? Well, if you're interested, do let me know in the comments about which board you are willing to buy if I import them here in India. Do genuinely let me know your you know, requirement down in the comments of the video. So that is all about the hardware configuration part of the board. Now let's jump onto the computer and have a look over the coding part of the project, which is a little bit confusing. So just stick around with this video to know how to perfectly program this board. So for the coding part, I first went to the official purchase page of UWB Pro with display and when I scrolled down, I found this hardware and software section. I just clicked on it and it opened up a GitHub repository and when I scrolled down in this page as well, I found this particular option where it guides everything about how to upload the first code onto this new board. So first we need to install the ESP32 boards packages. So we have already installed in our case. After that, we need to download this zip file and we need to rename it with dw1000.zip and we need to install it in our Arduino ID. After that, we need to install the necessary library for the display, which is SSD1306. And we need to upload the code into the ESP32 dev board. So let's follow the steps one by one. So first of all, I'll download this zip file, which is available here. So here's that zip file. So I'll click on it and I'll click on the download button. Okay, so now I'll open up my downloads folder and here I'll rename this file to DW1000, great. Now I'll open up my Arduino IDE and here I'll go to sketch into include library into add zip library. Now here I'll go to my downloads folder and I'll select that DW1000 file or folder here. Okay, I'll click on the choose button and uh, okay, as you can see, it says library added to your libraries. 
So we have successfully installed the library. Now make sure if you already have the DW1000 library, uh, which you used for your previous board, kindly remove that and add this new library because both the libraries has some kind of source code difference in it. So you need to use this library if you want to use the UWB Pro board with display and use the previous DW1000 library if you want to use the previous version of this MakerFab's UWB port. Okay, now let's just go to the uh, GitHub repository once again and let's see if there are some codes here. So I'll go to the example and here are the example codes. So this is the anchor code and this is the tag code. Okay, so one by one, I'll open both the code and upload it one by one to the ESP32 UWB board. So first of all, let's just open the anchor code, click it, uh, click on it again and I'll directly copy this code. And what I'll do is I'll paste that code here. Okay, so this is the code for the anchor. Now I will upload it into one of the UWB board. <clears throat> okay, so after that I'll select the right board which will be ESP32 dev board as mentioned in the GitHub repository. After that I'll select the right COM board which should hopefully be appeared here in the port section. Okay, here is that COM uh, port and I'll directly hit the upload button. Okay, so now this sketch is uploaded into one of the ESP32. So just press and hold the flash button on the board if the code doesn't upload. So it started uploading and it successfully uploaded as well. Let me open the serial monitor. And if I reset this board, so as you can see, it says the device address and the anchor. And if I turn on my smartphone's camera, then as you can see on this board, it says Maker Fab's UWB anchor and the address of it. So the anchor code is successfully uploaded. And similarly, let us upload the tag code as well. So I'll move back to the GitHub repository and I'll open the example codes. And again, I'll go to the tag one, tag 1306, that is with display. I'll copy this particular code and I will open a new file here in the Arduino IDE. I'll paste that here. Okay, so this is the code for the what you can say tag. But here in this code, there are some errors in the pin connection or the pin mapping. As you can see, the I2C is at four and five are here. It is mentioned as 32 and 33. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll copy all the pins from here and I'll paste that same pin configuration here so that every pin matches with it. And that's pretty much it about the code. Now I'll connect my second uh, ESP32 uh, UWB board with my computer. And now I'll select the right COM port of the second board, which is not appeared here. Okay, so here's that second board and I'll directly hit the upload button for this board as well. Okay, so code is successfully uploaded. I open the serial monitor here. I'll press the reset button, no need for that. Okay, so I already started printing the distance between the anchor and the tag. And if I turn on the smartphone's camera, as you can see, this is the anchor and this is the tag. And as you can see, the distance is showing. So we are getting to see the distance and the RSSI value, the received st signal strength indicator onto the tag side and if I move it a little bit further uh, as you can see the distance increases okay and if I move close to it the distance decreases okay so there is some error of around like uh, uh, 0.5 meter I guess because this is not 0.5 meter at all it should be zero as of now but it is showing the error of 0.5 meter on this particular scenario but yeah it doesn't matter we need to check the maximum range of it but when i uploaded the code for the error correction which was about uh, you know setting the antenna delay in this code the code was not running inside the new dw1000 pro board when i tried that antenna uh, delay correction in the previous board it was working and we were getting the accurate distance but in this case the accurate distance is not working so this is the point which you should note before purchasing this okay so i'll recommend to get this board when you want to you know map uh, when you want to use this ultra wideband for a longer distance okay maybe in a big uh, warehouse or something like that okay so yeah that was all about the coding part of this particular board and now let's just test this board out and let's just see how much distance we are getting in this pro version of the board so i'll take this board outside and here i have the anchor with me and i'll send ritesh with the tag with it and let's just test the distance out So we got the distance of around 160, 170 meters in this particular test, but I just took this test for the second time. And in this test, what we did is we made Ritesh to, you know, put the anchor above the head. So earlier I just put the anchor in my like below head level, but now Ritesh took the anchor above head. And when I take the tag with me, I got an amazing distance of more than 300 meters. 
so this pro boards do have some pro features in it so i personally got a distance of 300 plus meters in line of sight let me suggest you it was a line of sight connection of course there was a lot of interference of the vehicles and people running into the street but still we got more than 300 meters of range in this ultra wide band when we put the anchor up over our head so it was an amazing experience it was an amazing range that we got using this board so that was all about getting started with the ESP32 Pro board and we also tested its range which was pretty insane. So what I concluded with uh, this particular board is whenever you want to use or uh, rather track the objects in a big warehouse in a factory well you can definitely go for this UWB Pro version of this board and if you want to track in a very short area well the, uh, the earlier version of UWB board is also a great choice for that particular project. So that is something which I concluded. So you can buy this board and the other board from the link mentioned in the description also you can suggest me if uh, i should you know purchase everything in bulk quantity and sell them in india locally through my website so that you don't need to pay any import duty or heavy shipping charges you can suggest me that as well and also if you're suggesting well do suggest me one more thing which is what project should I make using the UWB baseboard? Well, I tried to make the air tech, but can you suggest me some more project, like practical working project using the ultra wide band technology, which I should make using these particular boards? Well, do suggest me your project ideas down in the comments of the video and me and my team will definitely try to work on that project and maybe make a tutorial video out of it. So yeah, do click the like button if you learned something new from it, or at least got to know something new from it. Do click the like button and I, I'm just ending this video here and now just wait for my next with an explore learn share with me techie sms